In this video, I'm gonna give you some tips for how to design some minimalistic, simple icon style logo designs, which are super popular and they're super easy to do with Kittle because we already have simple icons and animals and geometric shapes, as well as the fonts to match them. So let's go ahead and dive in and check that out right now. All right, we're gonna make some logos here in a second, but wanted to show you some of the icons that we already have here in Kittle. Now, please note, we do not allow in our licensing these to be trademarked, so please do not use these for trademarked logos, but for small businesses or medium-sized businesses, logos, things like that, these will be great. Now, also we have the emoji style category here, which is a lot of the familiar style emojis that you're seeing, maybe in your phone or something, but they've been made vector and sized up a little bit. Now, we also have a logo marks category here which is similar to what you see over there on the right which are going to be perfect for making some of these simple minimalistic style logo designs and there's just everything under the sun now you could also just search up here you could search lotus which is going to be for our first design brief we're going to make a simple minimalistic logo with a lotus flower for an app and so i think what we're going to do to get started is use this simple one right here there's a couple of different more realistic ones we could use but again, since this is going to be used on small devices, small screen sizes like the size of an application, a little app mark, I think that this is going to work perfectly. So let's position this here. And then what we're going to do is add some text. So you can easily add some text by hitting the T button to get that on the board. And then what we're going to do is type in Lotus, which will be the name of our app, which I know is a little bit cliche. But again, just for demonstration purposes, this is going to work. Now, what we want to do is find a complementary font for this because depending on the type of font choice we use it may be used in varying different applications for example if we were gonna go with a script style uh, this may look like a spa or a massage parlor or something like that uh, if we use a different font like this one right here it could be for like a gaming service or maybe like a a uh, travel agency or a lodge or something very different style of emotion that you get when you see the font choice and the icon together now what we want to do is find something that's going to complement the roundness the shape of this icon and be best for a calming app for meditating so cal sans is a beautiful sans serif font uh, it's nice bold and what we're going to do is make the thickness of these lines in the icon the same thickness as lotus so we can add border weight up here by easily changing the color to the same color as the illustration and then add as much border weight as we need we can make it really thick we can make it really thin but what i'm going to do is find something very similar to the thickness of the type here and that's going to work really nicely together so we can just adjust that as we need let's pick some calming colors that are going to work for this application calming colors like a dark purple and maybe a light blue and here is our completed application logo design made in kittle really easy simple and ready to go so for our next brief we are making a simple minimalistic logo for a bike shop called gear 7 and i'm going to use this bike icon again already preloaded ready to go i just selected over in the elements panel and then what i'm going to do is put this on a panel because we're going to use this at the front of the store shop and maybe also on the bar of a bicycle like the bars that go across or the diagonal bars so we're going to be using this in horizontal spaces that's basically all i'm trying to say so let's pick some nice vibrant colors i think an orange and a dark bluish purple is going to go really well together so what we need to do is maybe size this down a little bit and then grab the block hit command c and command v or control c and v to duplicate and then i'll just grab the left side this left point here this anchor and then move it across and that way both of my blocks are uh, together i don't have to move them at all and then i can just choose my darker color for uh, my secondary color that's going to go in my logo and this is going to house our text so again we're going with a horizontal style lockup for this uh, used in a lot of horizontal spaces uh, and so what we're going to do is again similar to the first one is find a font that is going to work with gear 7 so let's go ahead and just type that in we'll type in gear 7 and then we'll start going through a couple different 
different fonts. And I found one here called Contour that I think works really well. And the reason is it resembles a lot of the similar shapes that you see in a bicycle, whether it's the handlebars or the geometric makeup of the bars that connect the seat uh, to the bottom part of the wheels. And I think it just works. But what we may want to do is pick a different color for seven. So all we have to do there is again, Command C and V and copy and paste our text, move it over to the right. And then now we can use a different color color for seven. So let's pick that same kind of heroic orange, that bright, uh, you know, attractive moving color like orange. And now we are looking pretty good in our horizontal style. Here is our finished, completed, minimalistic logo for the bike shop made in Kittle. So hopefully you see how easy that is to do. Now for our last one, we're going to do something just a little bit different. We're going to go with a Fox illustration. Now we have everything from highly detailed to the minimal style you see here, maybe three different options. Now let's pick this one here on the left and we're going to do something a little bit different with curving some text because this is maybe for a little bit more of a playful shop a sly fox maybe it's a good shop or an antique shop or something like that so again we're adding text with the t button and then we're going to do sly fox and we're going to again choose a font that's going to complement this now with the mochi font here we can do a lot of cool little different things here and like making it uh, bolder if we want and then if we make it all uppercase, it gives you a different style uh, than using it all in lowercase. And so since we're gonna use this on a curve by going over here and hitting the circle transformation, I think using all uppercase is a good solution for this while also still matching the icon, the playfulness of the icon, which we will beef up here in a second. We'll make it a little bit thicker. But what we wanna do is duplicate this text with Command or Control C and V. And then all we have to do is go over here and click direction inverted and it sends it to the bottom. It's pretty amazing how easy it is to do that because we're going to put a little tagline here. So we're going to do uh, rare goods. And then if I click out, boom, it keeps everything the way that it needs to be. I'm just going to move a couple of things around and pick a playful color, maybe similar to the uh, color of a fox that you might see, like a faded red, a faded uh, red orange or something like that. And again, make the fox the same color. And then we all have to do is just make sure, make some minor adjustments, make sure the fox is a little bit thicker. And here is our completed Sly Fox minimalistic logo made in Kittle. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.